CataractCoach.com. Combo phaco and bangoniectomy, an effective and low-cost way to treat glaucoma and fix the cataract. So you can see there's the cataract. Patient's going to have a cataract part first, and then once the eye wells in the eye and the AC is still full of viscoelastic, then you can go ahead and do the bang procedure. Now you can see a nice rex is being done here. Important to have a rex that's going to overlap that optic 360 in order to hold it securely in position. Also, look at the incision. Here's a case where you don't want to really hit too much of the limbal vessels. Why? Well, if you have too much bleeding from the incision sites, when you put the viscoelastic on the cornea to get you that gonio prism coupled, you could get blood obscuring your view. And so you don't want that. So I like this surgeon's done a beautiful incision. That's basically what you want. You can barely, barely nick vessels, or you can even do, go totally clear cornea in this case, because again, you don't want to have that bleeding. Really nice chop technique here getting out the cataract in a very efficient manner, and then using that chopper to feed the pieces in. We've obviously sped up the video here. We'll slow it down for the bang part. Now bang, B-A-N-G, is bent ab interno needle goniectomy. And you've seen the video here on Cataract Coach from Arsham Shebani from Washington University in St. Louis here in the USA. And he really goes through it step by step with you and shows you his studies, and it's actually a very effective procedure. Now one big advantage of bang is it's very low cost. All you need is a bent needle. And that, even in the USA, where things are very expensive, even that is very inexpensive. And so now, finishing up the case here, taking out the cortex. For lens selection, I like a monofocal lens in patients with glaucoma. To me, that makes the most sense. Certainly, you can still treat any astigmatism the patient has. That makes a whole lot of sense, too. So if they need a torque monofocal, do that, or do a limbal relaxing incision, all good. Now, extra viscoelastic fill and now what? Switching over. Now you have to get operating temporally, right, to get access to that angle. Here's the viscoelastic on the cornea. Notice how there is no bleeding anywhere. And now you can place the gonium prism. Remember, the patient's head is being faced away from you, and you've tilted the microscope towards you. And there goes the prism now, and you can get the view. Look at that beautiful view of the angle. Wow, that's a really nice view. Now you can zoom in here, get that centered up. And again, all you do is just basically pass this needle along the trabecular meshwork there to, to open it up. So now, after examining, now the surgeon is going to put the needle through the main incision. You could also go through pairs and pieces if you wanted. And then once you get that center there, get the bubbles out. You may need a little more viscoelastic. There you go. More viscoelastic is always easier. That's a much better view. Now zoom in here, get it focused just right. And try to do this in one clean sweeping motion here. So going in there and then going in this, in this case from uh, right to left, one clean motion. And you can see how effective this is. And again, this is just simply a bent needle. You can use a 27 gauge or maybe even 25 gauge needle. Just make sure it's long enough. So in the U.S., that's the 5 eighths of an inch, not the half inch one. So you want it to be long enough so you can get across the whole anterior chamber. And you can see... This is a very effective procedure here. Now at the end, you're done. Put the microscope back to the position you need, straight up and down, put the patient's head back, and now you can remove the viscoelastic. The eye was already in the eye. And so remove the viscoelastic here from inside the eye, and then seal up the case and be done. Now should you put a suture here? Not, in, not absolutely necessary, but if you're a beginning surgeon, I'd still recommend a suture just to make sure you have really good closure. And then at the end of the case, wow, it does look beautiful. If you don't know about the bang technique against B-A-N-G, bent ab internal needle goniectomy, go to cataractcoach.com and type in the word bang and you'll, the video will come up and you'll hear from Arsham Shaban himself about the great pearls of how to achieve success with this case. Something easy to do, you can definitely learn to do it. And again, the advantage for both you and the patient is it's very low cost. And no matter where you are on the planet, you can get this done for just a few cents. Thanks for watching.